Tucker Carlson. It's time. So we'll see what's going on with good old Tucker. Um, if you like the video, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. What is going on, Tucker, in Tucker Carlson's mind? I mean, this is an intelligent guy. He's a talented fella. And why is he going down this path? Aren't there honest ways? And can he even turn it around? Can he stop doing what he's doing and do something more honorable? And I'll just get my biased self uh, out there and let you know that I don't think he can. I think that uh, once people reveal who they are, you need to believe who they are and take that to heart. But it could be that he has a change of heart somehow. But uh, look, he's making lots of money doing what he's doing. And that's hard to turn down. Unless maybe he's got enough already. So these are the Albano Weight Tarot. And who are these by? I think these are, are these U.S. Games? I'm not sure to tell you the truth, but uh, what these are, these are for a fellow whose name actually is Albano. Um, and they're done in the, um, in the uh, style of the Rider Waite. But what makes them interesting is that um, they're very bright. I mean, they're just uh, the typical color of the Rider Waite cards, but somehow, wow, where the Pat McCombin Smith cards have kind of a, a foggy tinge over them, uh, these are just really shockingly bright. And the hint to that is that the backs of them are so white, I mean, gold and really, really white. So, you know, these are just like all the Rider Waite cards that you've ever seen that are pretty straightforward. And, uh, but the colors really pop. And so, oh, they probably look really great on the uh, camera too. But uh, I love using these. Let me turn this light off I've got on over here because that kind of doesn't give them a true uh, color. So, well, there you go, the Albano Weight Tarot. I don't know uh, what company they come from, uh, crazy enough, but um, they're great cards. And I just uh, spread them out like this so you can get an idea, you know, what they look, what different cards look like, and maybe uh, help you figure out if you want to buy something I've been using or, um, you know, if you're just nosy like I am. I just used to always like to know. Uh, wondered what the cards uh, look like that the, the uh, readers were using. So it's a good way to shuffle them up. If you're doing a reading for somebody, it's not a bad way to let them uh, get their hands on the card, get some energy in there. Albano Weight Tarot. Okay, good old Tucker. What is in the cards for you, my friend? I, I say very hesitantly. A friend is in other member of the human species. <laughs> so just as generic as it can be. But you have to wonder, I mean, is he so far down the rabbit hole? Has the deal that he's made, is it so cemented that he has no option but to continue um, the path that he's chosen? So Tucker Carlson, what in the world is in the cards for you? Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson, what is in the cards for you? Tucker Carlson. We'll count across six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Tucker Carlson, what's 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 in the cards for you? Okay. Signifier card for Tucker Carlson, the hangman. Okay. Looking at something from another perspective. Good grief. Does this mean that perhaps he could change his perspective on what he's been doing? Man, I hope so. That's the signifier card. The uh, challenge to that, then, oh yeah, Ten of Pentacles is um, uh, wealth, okay? It's uh, generational wealth. It's value that can, will be passed on and on and on. So yeah, uh, coming to this point of really understanding what he's done uh, to the people who uh, follow him so uh, ardently is that, you know, that's what's gotten him this wealth, this generational wealth that he has now. And uh, so his greed going to be the determining factor that he just continues on. The base of this reading then for Tucker Carlson, justice. Well, that's very good. Um, I, I mean, I, I find it very hard, you know, my conscious self to feel like justice is going to have a big determining factor for Tucker Carlson. 
personally, could be that justice somehow is what um, is going to underpin uh, future decisions, perhaps. Uh, in the past of this reading is the King of Wands. Okay, so he is the king of the actions, the plans that he enacts for himself, or he has been. Okay, he's been the one who's made those decisions to go down the path that he's taken. In the sky for this reading, look at that. This Ten of Wands, a heavy burden, a heavy bundle to push up that hill, to carry forward. They're unwieldy. They can fly out of his hands at any minute. And look at how he's positioned here. He's leaning forward in a very unstable stance and carrying all of these issues of his own making, really. And the likely outcome, Tucker Carlson, ah, oh, look at that, a tower moment. So it could be that it all comes to a head and causes some sort of a chain, some sort of a new situation at the end of this one. Okay, four more cards. The self of this question, Tucker Carlson, is there an honorable uh, path for you ahead? Well, again, just like this tower card is a uh, complete and utter uh, uh, stop, uh, this world card is the end of one thing and the beginning of something else. So it looks like there's perhaps hope, but let's see in the environment of what? In the environment of ah, understanding, please, if he has the, 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 if he gathers the knowledge somehow to understand that the truth, justice, rules, law, take a break, lay down and, and make a careful decision about what you do before you jump up out to, to go forward again. The hopes and the fears for this, it's a nightmare. So, yeah, I would think even if he just continues on the path he's on or if he changes to go down a more honorable path, either one is going to be a nightmare for him. So I think that that is what's in his future, no matter how he moves forward, a more honorable direction or continuing the path that he's on. But what's the final outcome, the likely final outcome for Tucker Carlson? Ah, end. Complete and utter downfall. A, a stop. A full stop. So this just says to me, and look where look where all these are in line with each other. So yeah, he starts out. I guess understanding that there's another perspective that has to be considered here. But this familial wealth, this generational uh, value, is what is the uh, challenge, the temptation. Justice is what is underpinning uh, these actions that's going to happen. And in the past of this, he has been the king of his actions. It's been a heavy load, a heavy burden. All these actions, all these plans, it's a heavy burden. And uh, and uh, the, the likely outcome of the whole thing is just a complete and utter stop. The self of the question is that understanding that the cycle has completed and another cycle is getting ready to, to crank back up again. And if he understands to be careful about how he moves forward, consider truth, justice, rules, law before you move ahead. But in the hopes and the fears is uh, this uh, nine of swords, just a nightmare. It feels like for me, it's going to be a nightmare no matter which way he goes. And uh, then with the final outcome with this 10 of swords just says, whatever happens, it will be a stop. Something else is going to have to start after that, but this is going to be a stop. Is that what you thought it would be? I don't know. You tell me. I read all of your comments, every single one. I may not respond to them. I do try to like them, thumbs up, or I don't often thumbs down. But if you don't get a response to me from me, that means I didn't like too much what you said, but it was worth leaving on the on this channel. But anyway, let me know what you think. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.